Comp recording or comping is when you record multiple takes onto the same track, and then you can pick and choose sections from each take to form your final comp track. And in this Traction Waveform tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily comp record in Traction Waveform Free and Waveform Pro. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creative beast by providing easy to follow audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. Now, let's jump into this Traction waveform tutorial. So I have a simple drum beat set up here and I'm going to record my bass guitar for the comp recording demo. And you can also do this with any recording. So what we want to do is set up a loop region. And to do that, you just want to move your markers up here so that they cover a region that you're going to be recording in. Normally I would do like the whole song as a take but sometimes I'll do just little sections and that's what I'm going to do for this demo is just a little section so I can quickly show you comp recording. Then once you have your section identified here, you wanna go down to loop and you wanna make sure loop is turned on. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to loop record this entire section here. And so we'll keep recording and recording as many takes as we want. All right, so I have my track set up for recording. I have my input set, it's armed for recording and we're ready to record. So you just hit the record button like normal and I have it set so you're going to see it's going to count in and then it will start recording and we'll keep recording. All right, before I get into editing the comp track, I just wanna ask if you're enjoying this video so far and getting some value out of it, can you please hit that thumbs up button? It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now, let's get back into the Traction Waveform tutorial. All right, so I did a bunch of takes there and if I click this little plus sign in the corner of the clip, you can see all of the takes I did. So I think there was six altogether. I think this one's, yeah, that one's just blank when I stopped the recording. So I have six takes to choose from. So what I wanna do is click on show takes. And now you can see all of our takes here. And this is our comp track up at the top in green here. So that's going to be the final output that we hear. And by default is just on the first take. So what we can do is just listen to our first take. All right, let's say I liked the first part here up until about this part here. So you can see our takes are numbered and what we're listening to right now is take one, but let's just have a look at take two now and we'll just click, highlight that section there. And now we have to highlight take one. And we have all of that into our comp track and I'm just going to continue on with that section of take one. We have all of take one, but this section, and let's just listen to what that sounds like. All right, I don't really like that one either. This one looks like the timing might be a little more on, but looks like I might have messed up. I'm just going to scroll down. looks like I might have messed up that part right there. So I'm going to take that part from here. Do this. 
Now let's listen to that. All right, I don't really like this end part here, so I'm going to change it to a different take. Let's try this take here. Nope, that was a mess up. So we'll go to this one. There, I think I like all of that together now. So you can see I have bits and pieces from multiple takes and that forms our top comp track here. So if we're happy with that, we can click on this plus sign again. And you can see we have comp two here and I could flatten this, which would get rid of all of the takes and it would just create one final comp track. Or I could just hide the takes. So all we see is just the comp track and no one would know the difference. Or we could also unpack to new tracks and that would unpack each of those takes to separate new tracks. And that could be good if you liked multiple takes and maybe you want to do some doubling then that could be useful for that. But for this, I'm just going to keep it at hide the takes. That way, in case I notice something I don't like, I can go back and change it up later on. So I'll just keep it like that. And the clip looks the same and will act the same as any other audio clip. By default, I typically record at least three takes, but usually it's like seven takes that I'll do. And then that way I know I'm set. I have a lot of material to work with. So if there's something I flubbed or whatever, I can mix and match each part. If you want more Traction Waveform tutorials, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.